Okay, we're gonna do a manicure, a skateboard type manicure using the mannequin hand. Um, this is what we'll be using for a while since we can't work on each other. And the first thing you wanna do is disinfect your entire area. At skateboard, you'll actually have, you'll do this during your facial manicure setup. You'll have a drawer, you can put all your manicure stuff in. You do your facial first, so you get this all ready for your facial. We're just doing the manicure today. If you have time, you can let it set for 10 to 15 minutes, but we're just going to disinfect and wipe. We're going to get both chairs, even though we won't have a client sitting today. This table does not have a drawer, but you would get inside the drawer and everything before you put anything into it. Okay, after that, you can start setting up. And it's okay for things to go right on the table since it's clean. I put everything on a tray, but like I said, you'll have things in your um, So we're going to use this hand today. We'll just face it like the client would be facing you. And I like to put most of my things over here on the right because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you would put them on the opposite side. You can also keep some things in your drawer. All right, so you want to sanitize your own hands. And you'd also give your um, client sanitizer, you just place it in their hand, but I am going to do it for them because they cannot sanitize their own hands. <laughs> So typically the next step would be to remove polish. At State Board you will not have to do this because your client hand will not have polish on it to begin with. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the proper procedure for that. You want to make sure when you use these that you put your cotton over it and push because if you were to just um, start pushing this without the cotton, it kind of sprays everywhere. You want to pick up each individual finger, hold it for a second, and then swipe. Now at state board, if you were using this, you would want to change your cotton. But if you have to dip back in, change your cotton. It says the polish is ever stubborn, just hold it for a second and then swipe. The next step is they want to see that you're changing the um, length and shape of the nails. Now these have already been shortened quite a bit, but what you'd want to do at this point is take your clippers and trim them down. And when you do that, you want to make sure you catch any of the clippings. They don't, if it flies around the room, you got to go get them. So make sure you catch anything that comes off. I'm just taking a tiny bit off because they're already short. But they definitely want to see that you do change the length and shape of them. When it comes to filing for State Board, we'll send you with a thicker file. For a client, it's natural nails, you could use one of these files. The um, orange side is for filing, and the white side is for removing like some of the little edges of the nails, um, that, like the little layers that you see. 
I usually just go back through later on in the manicure before polish and remove those if necessary. And when you file, you wanna go corner to center. So you could see how this could be a long process. These are very thick nails because they're um, nail tips. So you can see where you'd wanna use a file that has a little more grip to it. Also, um, at State Board, you don't wanna to spend too much time on this because this can be time consuming. Make sure you get them down nice and far first with your um, trimmers so that you don't have to do too much work with this part. But you always wanna go corner to center, don't seesaw, and pick up each finger as you go. So after you did this on a client, you would soak this hand and do the other hand. At State Board, you only have to do one hand. Make sure you use a uniform shape on all the nails. Yep, if you decide to go round, rounded, you wanna do that on every nail. You can decide what shape you wanna do, but you don't wanna pick something too crazy like stilettos or coffin nails or anything that's gonna be too time consuming. So at this point, we would you want to put it in the direction the client would put their hand. So you would soak it. You don't have to soak it for long. I'm going to grab a towel. Actually a couple towels that you could keep in your drawer. I don't have a drawer, so you want to dry this off thoroughly after it's been soaked. Try each nail and the fingers. And then it's time to start caring for the cuticles. Anytime you use a towel, you would then throw it in your dirty bin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply cuticle remover. And we have this squeeze bottle so that you don't you should not touch the nail at all with the applicator. You just squeeze a little bit on. You don't want to put too much on because then you're going to have to take all that off when you're just a little bit on each nail. And then it's time to push. You can use one of two pushers. Um, these pretty much cover the whole cuticle, so these are nice. Um, these ones, if you have this kind, you just want to make sure that the flat side's down when you use it. So you just push the cuticle. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to rip your glove. So some of this part of the manicure is actually kind of mocked. Like when we get to cutting the cuticles, you don't actually cut them. But you want to mock the procedure for how you do that. Sometimes it's a little awkward picking up these fingers. They don't really help you very much like a client does. So after you push, you would throw this in your dirty bin. I'm going to put it on the table because I don't have a dirty bin. And then the next step would be to clean under the free edge. A lot of people forget this part. I just dip in a little bit of water and just get right under the free edge. And on this one, you use um, one part of the Q-tip, then you flip it to the next finger, and then you throw it away. So you'll actually use two and a half Q-tips for this. Flip it, and the next one, and throw it away. A lot of people forget this. This comes between pushing the... Okay. okay, so the next step, I'm just going to kind of rub out the extra cuticle remover a little bit. So you're gonna want to fold these like this. 
keep them nice and flat and just show how you would go around the cuticle. What you don't want to do is this kind of a movement. You want to keep it nice and flat like you would go around a client's cuticle. You don't actually want to cut it though because then the flower is going to leak out and they're going to know that you got too close. Okay, so after you do that, and you want to make sure you do that slow enough so they can see you do it as well. Um, another commonly missed step would be buffing. So we'll actually for state board send you with this kind of buffer and you'll use this, um, the shiny gray side for that, but we're going to use our small buffers today. We go through these all the time. So we use these smaller ones for each client. So I just like to do long motions towards me when I buff. And this adds shine to the nails gets out any little scratches or ridges. And you want to pick up each finger individually. And then the last step before massage would be cuticle oil. And there are two types of cuticle oil. For state board, we'll send you with these droppers. These are nice because you don't have to worry about touching the nail at all. If you have a cuticle oil like this, you don't want to touch it. You just kind of have to let it drip. Get enough on there and let it drip. Because you're not actually touching their cuticles. But for time purposes, this is a little more expensive. So we don't use, we like to save these for state board or for clients. Just drips them on each nail. and then rub it into each nail. Just using circular motions. And then it's time for your massage. You want to make sure, and everything will be labeled for you for State Board. I didn't label today just to save time, but you make sure you use your, sp your spatula to remove cream. You don't want to use too much cream because you don't want to have a lot of leftover cream on your hand. So a little bit of cream in your hand. Rub it in, emulsify it. And at this point, all this stuff would be put back into the um, dirty or soiled implements bin. Just want to rub that lotion in. And then for the massage, they just want to see that you're doing different movements. In this particular hand, there's not very much flour in the, some of the fingers, so it feels a little funny, but I'm going to go down each finger, kind of rotate and squeeze, maintain contact the whole time. And I'm going to massage the top of the hand. And I probably could have used a little more lotion than I did. So you want to massage the palm. So as long as you're getting every part of the hand, you're using varied movements. And I'm just going to kind of finish with the fingers. finger and a client you give a, a longer massage you'd go up the arm and everything um, but at this point then you'd want to remove any excess cream this is where you don't want to have a lot of excess cream on a client I would get a warm towel and remove it that way but um, you won't do that at state board so we're just going to take another thing you can do at this point that you don't have to do at state board is dip their hand again and use your water to brush each nail. But for time purposes at State Board, we will take a cotton round and some polish remover. And remove the 
excess lotion from each nail. Again, you would want to change, keep changing your cotton. You're going, going to use a lot of cotton that day. Save time, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with this one. And if there's any on the, still on the glove, you can also use a little stringent. this point it is you're ready for polish and you do have 20 minutes to do this state board sometimes people run out of time um, depending on your time they'll tell you when you have like five and ten minutes remaining you want to do base coat and we have first and last which can be used for both there is not much in here at all so this might be a little bit of mocking and if you forget something at state board you're just gonna have to go with what you have and mock it. You wanna use as few strokes as possible when you do this. There's definitely hardly any going on here, so I'm mocking it. <laughs> important thing is too that they see all these steps that you're doing and you pick up each finger yep. as you polish and they actually want to see you holding the cuticle on the sides pulling it back a little bit to expose the entire nail I know it's kind of awkward when you get to the thumb but make sure you're actually physically pulling it down a little bit because that is one of their check lines you want to try to avoid the skin as much as possible because you can use your cotton um, swabs to remove any excess polish, but it is hard to get off of these mannequin hands. And you do have to use red for state board. Yep. That's why you all have a red in your kit, so you, you wanna practice with red. Red is the hardest because if you make a mistake, it's very visible. all areas of the nail. You can see I got it on the edge a little bit. I would just take cotton round and we'll... And don't use your thumbnails um, or any of your fingers to try to get that polish off. Yep. They're going to consider that not sanitary. This is a no-no using yeah. your finger like that. So just take your... And if you do notice that you make a mistake, um, get the polish off immediately because the longer it sits there, the more it soaks into the glove and it's hard to get off. And you can see that that came off pretty quick because I didn't wait. So we're gonna get all the way down the cuticle. Get on each side the best that you can. Oh, got it again. And I'm gonna throw this away and use a new one. reason I'm putting this here I just don't want it to spray up everywhere and splash anybody but see if you get it right away it pretty much looks like it never happened I'm not going to show you all five because that's time consuming and you get the idea so then you just want to go through if you need think you need a second coat I don't think I need a second coat but if you feel like you do and you have time you can put a second coat on and then you would do your top coat. Once you get all five nails done, at this point, like I said, once you're finished using something, you can throw it in your dirty bin. I just don't have one right here, but you finish with your massage cream, throw it in your dirty bin. Um, so all, all this would pretty much be gone except for the polish. You always wanna keep disinfectant should be on the table. You want to keep that kind of stuff out. But once everything's done, you would clean all this up and turn your hand around so that they know you're done. But you would throw away everything, hands down, towel, all this would be 
thrown in your dirty bin, you throw your trash in your dirty bin, all in the same thing. And sure. all that would be left on the table would be your hand. Yeah. And make sure your lids are on. Make sure, yep. As you actually, while I was working, if I took cotton round out, I should put the lid back on. That's another thing they look for. Take cotton swab out, take it out, put your lid back on. And that's it.